So yeah, that was the dish that was given to me. I'm here in Inglewood, California. I'm talking about my panhandling story, but this isn't about panhandling. This is about food, and particularly the food that has been given to me while I've been while I've been out here. Being. I know I have white in my eyes. It looks magical. Like my last name is White, and I have white in my eyes. So that that said, I'm not gonna get on that right now. Um, I'm in Inglewood, California, and. I wanted to discuss food given to me over the years. There used to be bars and bags, care bags. And sometimes people kept bringing me really expensive dishes. This one is inedible because I'm pretty sure it has trans fat in it. Some, a lot of meats do and eggs do. some Not all eggs, but eggs are high in cholesterol, but not necessarily in trans fat. Don't necessarily have trans fat. There's f total fats, which people can consume and even have on their bodies. And there's saturated fats, which is, I think, discouraged, but still edible. But they say... That trans fats, oh wow, sweet. Thank you so much, thank you. Um, they said that trans fats are inedible. Um, and so that's what we're talking about here is, um, is uh, trans, not trans fats, but that particular dish is like a, it looks like either a, a creamy lasagna from like, Cheesecake Factory has amazing like taste dishes on there. But if you look at their nutrition menu, a lot of those have trans fats, probably 85% of their menu. Um, if you look at the trans fat um, um, column, it's, it doesn't say zero, it says 0 0.5 or 1.5 or one or 2.5, sometimes even 3.5 um, milligrams or grams of trans fat. I think it's grams, just counting it that low. Yeah, it would be grams of trans fat. So that would mean not to order those dishes if you're gonna buy Google's AI and maybe even the FDA's recommendation for uh, no trans fats in your food because it causes the certain diseases and stuff like that. Well, we know that the um, Bible mentions if you know the Bible at all. Um, but if you know that at all, then you know that the ark, somebody touched the ark and died or something like that. And so, yeah, I don't know if that's related at all, biblical. To like an arc or something food related to an arc but look it looks like some type of chicken lasagna so there's either, that's either crab meat or chicken there's tomatoes like uh, some type of tomato in it and then there's like a chicken breast on top but you see though like you know the different sizes of um of like um noodles or different names in italy like the smaller ones like it might be sp spaghettini or fettuccine or the other three or five sizes have different names pasta sizes well this isn't exactly a string pasta so i don't know what that one's called again but that's some type of pasta and then there's like a chicken breast. I don't know if there's two chicken breasts, but I don't know if there's chicken breasts, the cordon blues, stuffed with like crab meat or something. It has like tomatoes and stuff there. So that's one thing that was given to me today. I wanted to talk about stuff that I've been given over the years. Most of it has went in the trash because a lot of times when I'm out here, I already have my diet set. I already know what I want to eat for the day. Even if I come out here for money for food and then somebody gives me like an expensive dish, Particularly the main night, and I know, like, here's the Sizzler. Sizzler is an example of a restaurant that I haven't eaten at in months, even though they have, like, a unlimited buffet. I've had a raw steak. I've had steak um, raw there for the first time. My first raw steak I've eaten there. I think my first order that I've the first time I've ordered is a raw steak. I've had the lobster and steak there once with a side of salad. You know, another time I went back and I, I had the lobster. Which I don't necessarily like the lobster the steak again, but this time I ordered it raw instead of medium raw. Um, but come to find out, I can go back to that particular one because they do have a nutrition menu. At least for the past like 30 or 60 days, I've been counting carbs, and not carbs, cholesterol, sodium, sugar, calories, and newly, uh, even before my doctor suggested, trans fats, no trans fats, because a Google AI says so, and you can research that on your own. The other thing that was given me today, it smells really cheesy, whatever that is. And then I think it was like a white men's or something like that. This is the other thing. So there's, the lady brought me fries with a ranch dressing. And the sauce smells like it's supposed to be like a spicy dish, like a buffalo wing, but it's more honey. It's like a honey, a sweet buffalo it smells like. So it's like more honey than buffalo sauce. 
So that's the second thing that was given to me today. But I don't think she's much such a surprise. The third thing is, like I said, people bring me care bags. So a guy said he came all the way from Carson, California. That's the name of his ministries is in Carson, California. Uh, Ladder Rain Ministries International in Carson, California. If you're from New York City, you think of, you relate food, um, church with food, but he brought me popcorn. He said he's giving out, he gave out like nine bags and out the last one. So it has popcorn at the bottom of the bag. Right? And then this, this note fell off, but, and then it has like a turkey sandwich in there. So yeah, over the years, I've been given like Cheesecake Factory um, in North Carolina. It was like, it was like a pretty big bag. I've been given some, I like when I end in Phoenix, actually in Paradise Valley or 44th, where the really big mansions are down that street in the Red, the Red Mountains. We'll call it the Red Mountain of Phoenix on 44th Street, like up the street in Paradise Valley. Um, I remember a guy gave me a $50 gift certificate for Texas Roadhouse, and that was my first time eating there. So when I went there that night in Goodyear, I, went, I left Phoenix and went to Goodyear that night, and I spent the 50, and then I sent back some of the dishes because I couldn't eat it all. And then they gave me the, they comped it and gave me the gift certificate back. So then later that night, I went back and spent the other 50. Uh, I've heard bad reviews about that place, and I would give them bad reviews. Um, on certain like of their main entry meals, but I think like some of their side dishes and at that time I was counting maybe calories and weight, but I wasn't counting um, And I was also giving a bottle of water from a guy from Ladder Rain Ministries But this is bad because it probably has trans fat That's bad because I've already know what I'm gonna eat And then it smells really sweet honey is really sweet and 36 grams of um, sugar is recommended per day for men 20 20, I mean less than 36 less than 25 for men so because I don't want to be diabetic uh, my great grandmother I believe lost her legs was diabetic um, and she was in a wheelchair she didn't have legs my grandmother was blind in one eye and it may have been, have been because of that so um, my mother doesn't I don't know if she has um, issues or not, you have to ask her or text her or something. But yeah, so I definitely watch what I eat always. And um, yeah, but definitely no trans fats, you guys, okay? Today is the 22nd of um, October, and I have some exciting news for you uh, coming up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Right there, we're here near the desert. LA would be the desert, or a little part of it is, but LA would be the desert if it was got four inches less of rain and it's 14, but if it got less than 10 or five less inches of rain, then it would be a desert. And there are parts of LA that does get less than 10, so we do have desert here. Lancaster, Palmdale. Anyways, this is about food. Looks really good, right? Like if I was a fool, I would be like, oh shit, that look good as fuck. And then I would open it up and I would eat into it. But I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna uh, keep it low, like I do. And that said, um, remember Ramadan is coming up on the 28th of 2025 through 3.30. And yeah, this is food. Um, I guess I'll talk, try to talk for a few more minutes and try to... She just left the Sizzler. The Sizzler does have like Maui fish and other items. Steak and baked potato. That's an eight ounce steak right there. And that was the baked potato I've had another time I went there. Um, there's like four or five Sizzlers in this thing, like area. That's the venerated Kia Forum beside it is the Sophie Stadium beside that is the NFL building beside that is Hollywood Park and then the new Intuit Domes have been open uh, now two months. Recently the Rams versus the Las Vegas, I guess it used to be the LA Raiders but now it's the Las Vegas Raiders and uh, the Rams won. They also won the Super Bowl here in 2021. Okay, so yeah, I've mentioned this, my story of panhandling and what I've learned out here in the streets and how I learned how to make money. I would have kept my first car, I would have kept my first apartment if I'd have known how to panhandle something that my ex taught me before he passed away. Um, but anyways, 
that said, uh, that said, um, yeah, I'm going to try to think of some other dishes that I probably wouldn't eat now. Okay, in Goodyear, there was a Girl Scout cookie lady that used to come out every Saturday. I'm um, in North Carolina. Let's see. Uh, there's a Cheesecake Factory. And um, I, there was probably like 35 restaurants around that hotel I stayed in for like um, seven months. I panhandled every day to get money to keep staying in the room. I left New York City after Cardi's died. Um, and because I couldn't be, stand being in the city without him there. And everything reminded me of him. Anyways, when I got there, I had booked six nights at the Super 8. And I said, I'm gonna chill in the room for a couple days and rest and relax and recover. And then on day three, I'm gonna go out and pay him for the money to keep the room so that I can keep, uh, extend, my, extend it from six days to seven days. And I did, and I did that the entire seven months until I decided I was leaving North Carolina. The entire time I had New York City food stamps, but that's no, that's nothing to hear no there since I, out of my three or four caseworkers, I told them all of them, like, I'm like, hey, dude, I'm a member of many states. I'm a multi-state resident. He said, well, you have to live in New York City or something. I'm like, well, that's just simply not the case here. Like, I'm a multi-state resident. Like, that's just simply what it is. And, um, anyways, yeah, that, you can see, like, the sauce from that at the bottom of, of, like, the, uh, I don't know why this is going dark, but you can see, like, sauce underneath the, um, underneath the wing or something. That smells more like honey, but it smells like it's supposed to be a little bit spicy, so it's like a buffalo. And it was fried. I don't. I didn't taste them, so I don't know how salty they are. And I guess that's a ranch dressing. So a girl gave me that. And then a guy. Oh, I remember what he was driving. It wasn't a white Mercedes Benz. It was a two-door sports car with the um, top off of it. It was a couple, like maybe a middle-aged couple, maybe like late forties or something. Like pretty good-looking couple. And the guy reached, got the back from his wife or his, I guess his uh, girlfriend or wife, and uh, he handed it to me. Anyways, I can't eat this because it has um, it has too much trans fat in it. I'm, I'm guessing it does, and it's not on it's not on my menu. Dirty Heads and the Interrupters Subline with Rome Beach Water will be here Friday, November the 22nd at the Kia Forum. Get your tickets probably uh, starting at 69 from sitting in the balcony, up to a thousand dollars per seat. I don't know. I don't know the prices. But so what are some other dishes? There's a um, there's a Starbucks right there. They have like the ham and cheese croissant this lady brought me the other day, which has 320 calories and I can't remember the amount of sugar, but it's under 36 grams, as well as the sodium is 490 milligrams of sodium of the less than 2300 milligrams means uh, 2299 milligrams is the most you can have per day. I usually try to never go over like 2270, 2280 at the most. But, yeah, that said, um, you have to be careful. That's something I've learned with age. So I said as it's a silent killer, also certain, certain knowledges and stuff you learn as you get older, and that's one of those things. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. This is DCWDCW.com. So you go to my website, you'll see something you've never seen in the history of Earth. So I feel like I have to, the ability to say that, to do that, to say what I say, because never on Earth have we lived, have we had a, a how, uh, an Earth where people, everybody was housed, have we? Every person on Earth was housed and had a home. Well, that's what I'm looking to do with uh, my company right here. There's some other new stuff going on right here, so. Maybe I'm a creator, maybe it's like the, the biblical or the, the Quran thing of the ability to create and uh, the greater things than Christ shall, we be done, shall be done. Maybe I've already done things greater than Christ. And so I don't know, but anyways, I think that this is a good thing and I'm for the people and I hope that they will, will keep the things that are good about 
advice or business and discoveries, knowledge is business and products. But right now we're talking about food, which is, might be the meaning of life. Look at my, on the same website, Devon Chadwick, White Incorporated. If you go to the website, www.dcwdcw.com, and you see uh, the think tank issue from yesterday called the meaning of life, I'll discuss how the meaning of life is food. Are those like Roma tomatoes? There's like scallions. Oh, and then look at it, it's butter. You can see the butter in the cream sauce, right? So then you see more of the sauce right here. I'm gonna let this out for just a second. Let's say this with it. So yeah, do you see like, right there, you see the little bit of butter at the bottom of the pan? Right here, you see it thickened up on that side where it's kind of, I guess it's moved around. If I shake it a little bit, oh, you can see it's like, over here you can see more of it like in the corner. And there's like tomatoes there. And then there's like, um, there's so much, whatever it is, there's so much of it. Can you see like, I've mentioned that on the inside is like, uh, Looks like there might be something on the inside there. Can you see? So do you see like inside the chicken, it looks like there's like a, there's like a little hole right there, but do you see like that could be like crab meat or? See that hole right there and that could be like crab meat or like um, there's another one over on that side like right here underneath. It could be like crab meat or imitation crab meat or something. I don't know, but I'm just here guessing that it has um, trans fat in it. Anyways, there's some type of ponderosa pine right there. I think that is the uh, uh, canary date palm tree right there. The, believe it or not, that's the um, China, the Chinese bai, banyan, which can be used to cover people's fences and create a privacy in their yard, but it also comes in the form of trees. That's a popular use word in here in Inglewood. This is kind of like mushroom-headed tree. And that's Monterey Cypress right there on the side of the Kia Forum on the ground surrounding the Chinese Banyan. Um, and I believe that's the Lawson Cypress that's surrounding the um, Inglewood Park Cemetery sign. Anything else that I'm missing? There may be some other um, species of palm also over here. Notice how these palm trees over here are so much taller than this other plant life that's like beneath them. These two right here, these two palm trees. Like look at, look at like this palm tree right here versus this one or we could say like the right there, that's um, that's either the Jerusalem thorn, thorn or like, um, what's, the, what's the one that they use in um, Arizona? You have to look at my website or you could go and research like Phoenix Plant Life. Um, 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 um. There's some more Chinese banyan. But yeah, that's interesting how those two palm trees stick out. You see that all over uh, Los Angeles very, very uh, frequently. This is, remember, a beach town. If you could see the mount, the beaches, well, if you look, you could see over that mountain right there, some of the Malibu, you'd be able to see a beach probably. I think that's uh, Rancho Palos Verdes, California, which is one of the 88 incorporated cities in Los Angeles. I'm pretty sure that has trans fat in it. Between 